Hello everyone and welcome to rchelp.com. I'm Tony and today we're going to show you how to build the RC Help Trainer. As you can see on the screen, this is pretty much everything we're going to need to build the trainer. You've got all your cutting tools, you've got your hot glue, you've got your skewers, popsicle sticks, you've got your tongue compressors for your motor mount, or you've got your plywood to make your motor mount out of, you've got your tape to tape the plans together, you've got your packing tape that you're going to use to do all your hinges and things like that, and then you've got all the parts back here that you're going to use to actually control it. You've got your radio. Any four channel radio or up will work. Even some three channels will work on this if they're programmed right. Motor, motor mounting hardware. You got your prop. You also got your speed control for your motor. You've got your receiver for your radio. Now the one we're going to be building is going to use four servos, but you can build it with just three servos. You got two aileron, and then one elevator. Can you build it with just two servos? Yeah, you can. You can actually use one servo and control both ailerons. It'll just be pulling them like this and you won't be able to uh, trim out each aileron by itself. Not a big deal for some, big deal for others. It just depends on what kind of hardware you're running. And then obviously you're gonna need all your linkage rods. You're gonna need some sort of connector. These right here are just Dubro control horns. They're extremely cheap. You can get them at any of your local hobby shops. If you don't wanna use those, you can even make control horns out of popsicle sticks. And I'll even show you guys how to do that. You've got your rubber band for the wing, unless you want to actually screw your wing on, which you can do. The rubber band wing is better for beginners because it gives it a little bit of a flex if it actually hits the ground. And then last but not least, you're gonna need your battery. Now in some cases, you're gonna need some servo extensions because the fuselage in this plane is a little long and by putting the servos all the way in the back of the plane back towards the tail section to keep your linkages from being so long, you're gonna to need to extend it up to the receiver. They're extremely cheap on uh, a lot of your knockoff websites and you get five of them for like three bucks. So, you know, anytime I make an order, I try to throw in a little something extra and usually it's servo extensions because you can cut the ends off of them if you end up cutting one of your servo wires or something like that and you can re-solder it on and repair it. Guys, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you exactly how to download the plans, how to print them out, how to cut out the plans and tape them together, and then how to cut out the foam board. And then we're gonna get into actually building the airplane. All right, to download the plans, the first thing you need to do is go to rchelp.com and the link's in the description below, and then click on the RCH store button. That's gonna open up a new window. And then in here, this page right here will change each time you click into it, but find the RC Help Trainer, click on it and here you can kind of read a little bit uh, if you want to make a donation just click this box right here and then click add to cart now here you can see that's in your cart and this right here is telling you what exactly you're getting uh, this is the actual download file we'll click go to checkout then we got to log in once we're logged in you can put in a redemption code if I'm running a promotion or something, or if you're ordering like a lanyard or something and you want something put on the lanyard uh, in specifics, you can put it down here in the comment box. Otherwise, just click continue checkout. Then confirm the order. Now here you can see everything is, it's already, the transaction is done. Uh, right here's your download button. But let's say you don't want to download it right now and you want to wait until a later time to download it, but you wanted to get the purchase out of the way. What you'll do is you'll come in to the store just like you did before, and then you'll log in up here. Then click on My Account, and you can see all your orders right here. Then you'll click on View. In the View, this will tell you your order, and again, you'll have your download button. I've got it set to 5 uh, for how many times you can download it. But if you need to download it more than that, just uh, purchase it again. It's not a big deal. But now we'll click download. We'll click save as. Uh, the only reason I'm clicking save as is because I want to put it on my desktop. And click save. It's already saved. We will open the folder. As you can see here, this is all the crap I have on my desktop. Right click, extract all, extract. Here you can see uh, the file name for the trainer. We double click it. And that'll bring up this page here. As you can see, I have went in and done a few changes to the plans, and I've now got four inch red lines on every page that's gonna connect. If it's going uh, right to left, then 
there's going to be a page to the right or to the left of the page. But if it's going up and down and the elevator is the only one that does this, then the pages will go up and down as they're printed. But as you can see, here is all of the plan sheets. And I've also done it to where none of the wing pieces are overlapping onto a top page up here. All right, once you get that done, we'll go up here to this page here. What you'll do is you'll hit Control P and make sure right here on your size options, you want to select fit. It will kind of shrink it just a hair, but if you select actual size, it actually cuts some of the edge of the, of the page off. On my particular printer, which is the Brother uh, J630W, I have to select fit and it prints out perfectly every time. Then you'll hit print and it'll start printing. Now that the printing is complete, we're ready to cut out the paper. All right, so now as you can see, I've separated out the printed pages into two piles. There's only two pages that you're not going to have to tape together. The first one is the dihedral gauge. This one you will not have to tape together. This is only to get the dihedral in your wing. The second page is the rudder. This one is its own little page, and you'll just simply cut this out, put it on your foam board, and then cut out your foam board. But what we need to do now is we need to cut out all these pages. Now, the best way to do this is with some sort of paper cutter like this. This was real cheap. I bought it at Office Depot, I think, and it works great. Whenever you're cutting this out, you want to cut as close to where the black line ends as you possibly can. Page one is cut. You only need to cut two sides on that page. Once I cut the other 13 pages, I'll come back. Now that we got everything cut out, now all we need to do is put it together. Get rid of our paper cutter. Get rid of all these nice little shards of paper. Now, all you have to do, as long as you got nice straight lines, is match the lines up, tape them together, and then cut them out. Now, whenever you tape them together, try only to tape where the fuselage is actually going to be together, or the wings going to be together, the elevator, you know, so on and so forth. Only try to tape there. That'll not only save you tape, but also time. Once you get everything taped together, you're ready to cut it out. Now, can you cut these out with scissors? Yes, but I would highly suggest a straight edge. But for now, we're gonna tape them together and then I'll be back. All right, we got all the pieces taped together and as you can see, we got one rudder, one dihedral gauge, we got two sheets that make up the elevator. We got the very top KFM. Up here, we got the main fuselage. Then here is the main body of the wing. This is where the aileron is gonna be and all that. Uh, got the approximate location of the servo and down here is the middle KFM with the top and bottom of the fuselage being right here. This is the motor mount. We will have to trim this after we glue this on uh, to match the front of the nose. And then here, this is just an optional piece. Uh, basically what this is for is to cover the side of the motor. We will put this on just so you guys can see it. I didn't have it on my last one. Now what we got to do is we got to cut every bit of this out. Now, you remember what I said about the straight edge? Get you a piece of foam board, a scrap piece of foam board, and lay this down on there. Use your straight edge to cut all of these straight lines first, and then come in and hand cut all these curves. These straight lines can be cut with the same straight edge. It just makes it a lot easier to get all this cut out. Now on this one here, there is actually a mark right here where you can see where the lines actually bend. This line and this line is straight. So there's no curve in this. If you wanted to put a curve in it, you could, but there is no curve on the plans themselves. So I'm gonna get all these pieces cut out and then we'll be back. As you can see, I've got all the pieces now cut out. You've got the fuselage, you've got the elevator, rudder. Here's the top wing, middle wing, bottom wing, top and bottom of the fuselage, your motor mount, and then your optional nose piece, which you don't have to use, but we're going to. Most of the instructions 
are on the pieces that you're going to cut out. I did this so you wouldn't lose them uh, whenever you cut everything out and then threw the extra paper away. There are some instructions that are not on here though. The first thing we're going to do is we got to get all these pieces cut out. Now remember, except for the motor mount, the elevator, and the rudder, every one of these pieces has to be cut twice. Now as you can see right here, I've got just a scrap piece of foam board. If I move this, you can see all the lines that are on this from where I was cutting just this out. The other side's even worse. I've cut five or six planes out on this one board. This is the board that I always put down and then I put another sheet on top of this and I cut the top sheet. This keeps me from scratching up my table, my desk, my kitchen table, whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to get another sheet of foam board over here and we're going to start cutting all of this out. Now don't forget to subscribe and then come over and check out the forum. Got a lot of great members over there that can provide you help with just about anything that you're into. Come over, click on the store, order yourself a shirt, order yourself a lanyard, download the PDF plans for the RC Help Trainer, and let's get you guys in the air. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.